Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lindy Vanna. Uh, I'm here with Addis, my very, very nice brother-in-law to be. And we have come to Trake, which is a medieval castle. Mm. And I've brought Addis along because he's going to tell you all about the castle. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, it's like a brick-built castle from... From which age? 13, 14, something like that. From like 13th or 14th century, um, so it's very, very old. It's been demolished and rebuilt several times. It's got some incredible history. Um, so we're gonna, we've just parked up here, and we're gonna take some sort of rowing boat out onto the lake because there's like a big, um, how do you say it? A big oh, moat. There's a big moat around the castle, and um, yeah, we'll show you the castle. Oh yes, welcome back to the channel guys, please don't forget to hit subscribe, it really helps us out. And don't forget to turn on notifications, so you're notified of every time we make a new video. So it's about an hour's drive from Vilnius to Trake, and Trake is not just the name of the castle, it's the name of the town. And there's a few attractions in Trake, as well as the castle, but we didn't have time to explore any further than around the castle. There's many little places that you can hire rowing boats from around the lake and usually you have to pay between 5 and 10 euros cash per hour to take out a rowing boat. Here's our boat. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel! <laughs> we like snails if you want. Barely moving. I don't know, I don't know Sam. All those muscles for nothing. <laughs> Castle. On that side of the, on, on that coast, there's like many cafeterias, restaurants. They sell very popular dishes uh, like kibune. It's a very traditional Trake dish. It came actually from very far place from Lithuania, from Crimea, from Ukraine, because before like 600 years when the castle was built and Lithuanian dukes were inviting many people from all over the Europe to, to do their crafts, to do their, uh, I don't know, like traditions in Lithuania and they invited people from Crimea as well so they brought Dunay and Trakin so it's, it's very popular dish yeah, there you can see the, the Traka castle. It's very popular, it's very old. Our great duke beetled us from 14th century. I think that was the time when he built the castle. He's one of the famous dukes in Lithuania because he was the guy who won us a battle mm -hmm. with Germans. It was like very, very big and important battle in our history. So yeah, actually Traka is one of our capitals it used to be our capital at those times oh, yeah wow. because there's a saying that there is four capitals in lithuania so there is karnave the first one the oldest trake konas and vilnius oh. yeah i remember i, I told you about konas yeah, yeah being our capital on the times between the wars because poland occupied vilnius and we had, to, we had to find a new capital, so almost was the city. Oh, there you can see a very nice palace. I don't remember the name, but it's very, very beautiful.
So yeah, the castle was rebuilt after some time because it was in very very bad condition. I doubt that they did it did it in the way it used to be, like mm. the bricks. And you can see the like the edges are very sharp and you know you could tell it's rebuilt. Yeah, it now has multi purposes. It's a very popular destination for tourists. So yeah, it was that, a prison as well at one point. I think. Was really? It? Yeah, I think it was a like a might be detention prison. Hmm. Mm. But like years and years ago. and full power ahead. <laughs> we've just finished our row, we're bringing it back to Moor where we picked it up from and then we're gonna go and jump in the van. Yeah. Okay guys, we're just about to head home but Addis has just jumped out the van to go and get some kibane from a traditional Kibane restaurant. The building itself looks gorgeous. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to give you a taste review. Oh yes, got some Kibane. Oh, yes, oh, yes. They hadn't have the most popular ones, but yeah, we got some. I don't hopefully they written now which one is which. This is how it looks like. Um oh, yeah, it has something inside. I don't know what what because this one would uh Pork, cheese, and mushrooms and stuff. Pork, cheese, and mushroom. Something wow, like that. Yeah, nice. it's very. So there's all different flavors. Yeah, and there's one sweet one. Try this one. This is one of the most popular. Hmm. And this is with meat. Yeah, this is, this is with meat. Hmm. Okay. So let's eat these and head off back to Vilnius. Bajram. We've just got home, just got back to Vilnius. Um, it was a pretty good trip. Mm, I like it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good fun to go to Trake. It was a bit of a whistle stop tour. I think it took three hours in total from Vilnius to Trake and back. So uh, if you're in Vilnius only for a couple days, then you can definitely do it as like half a day journey uh, to go and check it out. I wish we had maybe an hour more so we could go by land over to the castle um, but uh, yeah it is what it is. I'm just glad that we got there and was able to chill out on the boat for a bit. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and we'll see you in the next video. Over and out. Noise, noise, noise.